correspond UN correspondent for various Arabic news media. Mr. President, uh, uh, my question is about the Mediterranean security and economic cooperation. First, with regard to Syria, we have two different points of view going to Geneva too. One of the Syrian regime who wants to negotiate uh, maybe for the sake of negotiation, and the other one for the opposition who wants to style it on the uh, basis of a conference similar to Versailles, conference after World War I. Uh, how does uh, the uh, European Union and France uh, foresee a, a, a middle uh, position between the two points of view? And would the uh, concept of uh, power sharing be acceptable as a transitional phase? The second question about the economic cooperation in the Mediterranean with the developments happening in Egypt, and France have been a, a major trade partner and political trade partner with Egypt for a long time. Uh, how does uh, France investments and the flow of tourists uh, w uh, future is and will it continue or there will be other measures at the moment? Thank you very much. There is no ambiguity regarding Geneva too. The conditions for this conference were clearly set. It was about setting up an interim government with effective powers. It is not the position, the stance of one party, it is not the stance of France. This is what was written at Geneva 1. So you, we do not have on the one hand those who want to topple the regime and on the other hand those who want to keep it. Of course this exists, but it is about the ability that the international community must have to set up an interim regime that will lead to restoring peace. So we must not consider revisiting the mandate of Geneva II. We must make sure that Geneva II can be organized on this basis as soon as possible. This is France's stance. The second topic that you mentioned regarding Egypt. Here again, we would like the roadmap that was discussed or mentioned by the new Egyptian authorities to be complied with and implemented. And in that roadmap, you find the organization of elections and respect for pluralism. And we're still going in that direction. What we did say to our fellow citizens and our tourists nonetheless, is that given the current situation, they have to be extremely prudent. Hence the fact that the Egyptian touristic zones are, were put on the list of areas at risk. We would like to put an end to this warning or this advice as soon as possible, because we know how important tourism is for Egypt. But the faster Egypt goes back to the roadmap and stability, the faster the tourists will come back.